Hey guys, so let me tell you that I have royally messed up. Like, my time of day is completely off. I've been staying up late and getting up late. And I was like, well, you know, it's fine. I'll just start to fix it. So... I woke up at noon yesterday, I think I told you guys that, and I started feeling kind of sick around 10.30, so at 11 o'clock I went to bed. I was like, you know what, if I'm feeling tired and I'm feeling bad, maybe I can get some sleep. But I only slept for about three hours, and I was like, okay, let me try to go back to sleep, but I couldn't. So at like three o'clock, I just got up out of bed and was like, all right, I'll just stay up all day. So we got breakfast before Zach went to work, and so we didn't have any food, we need groceries. And so I ate and watched Horse Girl, weird movie, anyway. Um, and then I took a nap and I slept for like three hours. So in total I haven't slept but like six hours. So I'll probably still be tired tonight but right now I feel like I'm on another planet. Like I don't know what is going on. So it's about 1.30 now. I'm about to make my second coffee of the day using my my walrus mug. It's one of my absolute favorites. But I also need to figure out quickly before it's late what I would like to film today for today's vlogmas because I do have, I have a wish haul but I also still have, and this is embarrassing, the Boohoo stuff that I ordered that you guys helped me pick. You guys like sent me suggestions. And I have a few like definite winners in there, but I have also got some stuff that doesn't fit. When I got this stuff, like a couple things were a little too tight, but now they might be even a little bit more tight. I may try that stuff on like and see if I want to film that, but my wish haul Oh, that's a debacle too because they sent me $300 of credit, but this was probably a lot. I mean, this was like maybe June or July and I still have not gotten everything and I think some of the stuff may have gone to my old address and not been forwarded even though we have forwarding from our old address. Like I don't think everything's getting here unfortunately, so I think I might go ahead and film it, but I gotta decide. <laughs> Right now though, I need some coffee. Oh, and I have to show you guys something. For the longest time, we did not have shelves in this cabinet. Well, we had only the bottom, of course. We had that, but the other shelves weren't from here. And I think they just didn't know where they went. And the other day I went outside to look for a package out on the front step and there were shelves. So I put my beakers up top and then we have room for coffee cups. And then after Christmas, we'll put the coffee cups, like Christmassy ones back away and we won't have like an overflow so much. But now we actually have space for them because before we were like shoving them all in that bottom shelf and then here as well. So this bottom shelf is like still cramped, but I did get rid of a bunch. You guys know I'm just like a mug hoarder for some reason, but this is everything. Like those and those you see are all the mugs. I know it's a lot, but it's less than what we had. This is the only mug I've bought since we moved here. I think, I'm pretty sure. And I, I just had to have it. All right, and I just got excited too because I saw on Instagram, I think it was Jared Leto's account, the preview or the trailer for that, is it, I guess it's a movie, right? Um, that has Denzel Washington, which is my favorite. I love my Denzel. Um, Jared Leto and also Remy Malek, the guy who, he was in Breaking Dawn Part 2, but he also played, um, Oh my god, the lead singer of Queen. I can't think of it, but he was in that that movie as well. It looks really good. Like it's about like murder and like give me murder and give me Denzel and I am good to go. That's like my new favorite movie and I haven't even seen it. So I'm gonna enjoy a little bit more coffee and try to get my mind on this planet, on this plane. Right now my mind is out there in the woods that I can see and yeah, that bitch is loopy. I don't know. So I'm going to try to get it together and figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, well, now I've been talking for nine minutes. I don't know why I do this. Okay. I'm shutting up. All right, so I decided to switch it up last minute and actually film my wish haul because it's gotten later and I feel like I can get through this quicker 
and hopefully still get it up tonight. So I have random stuff. I was given a credit, so just so you guys know, I'm not paid to do this video, but months ago I was given a credit. It has taken a long time to get some of them, and I think there's still a few pieces that I didn't get, but I picked really random stuff, and there's some good and there's some bad. So without further ado, let's just start looking at it. I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me. Let's start with the most random thing ever. This is a little like, uh, it's a little pen where you can change the color. It actually writes pretty decent. It has so many colors and there's like a little dinosaur on top. I mean, really cute for a kid if they like, you know, writing with different inks. It's a pretty nice pen and you just press the dinosaur to bring it back up. There's so many different colors. I'm just gonna do like some scribbles so you guys can see the colors. So if you happen to run across this, I would get it. I mean, it was a couple bucks. Um, also, they did send me the links to all this. Let me show you guys. So if you can see, I did some scribbles, but it actually writes really well. It's a handy little pen. It's kind of chunky, but I think it would be perfect for kids if they want to write with colored pens. Next up, I got this for my wall. It's like a little wall decal, and I took the like plastic layer off of one of them. So it comes looking like this, but there's a really, really thin plastic layer that you can't really see you just gotta find the edge and it's a pair of lips it also comes with little sticky dots stick on the wall but i'm not sure where i want to put it so i haven't put it anywhere yet but i actually think it's pretty cute like it's exactly what it looks like it's super super thin so it's not going to stick out on the wall it's just like this little mirrored set of lips so i actually think this is really really cute like one of those things where it's it's like a silly thing but if you wanted some things like this I would definitely go for this. Like if you want some cute lips by your vanity. All right, this three piece set, I'm gonna get fuzz all over me, was <laughs> kind of like a knockoff of the like Kim Kardashian fuzzy three piece set. Now I'm just gonna tell you this. At first glance, this looks like a crop top, but when you put it on, it's like a tiny bralette that like barely covers my boobs. I don't know what's going on with it. This is very cheaply made, but if you just want something super cute and cozy, it works. It's just, don't expect, you know, super nice quality. I saw a lot of people like make these for themselves, but this is the little top. It also came with a pair of shorts. Now the shorts are surprisingly pretty decent, but the string is like, it went into the short on one side and I can't get it back. It's all the way over here. It made it this whole way. So I don't know how to get that fixed, but these are pretty cute. I mean, you could probably find something like this at, you know, Walmart or some store for fairly cheap, but it's decent. I mean, you get what you pay for. Now this, I actually am probably going to get some use out of. So it's a three piece set with the shorts, the little white top, and then the matching hoodie. This is more true to size. I always get like the biggest size that they have. Well, not always the biggest, but like sometimes I get a 2x because of the sizing and even then sometimes stuff doesn't fit so this was a 2x and it does fit but it fits more like like an extra large you know what I mean so really fuzzy cute hoodie just to wear around the house I'm not mad at it I think it's pretty cute so yeah just if you want to get stuff like that I would just order with a grain of salt knowing probably what you're going to get I've seen things that are that quality at like very inexpensive stores so I don't think you have to order that from Wish by any means but if you're looking for like that fuzzy look and you don't want to make it yourself like it's cheap and it's good. Now one of the things that I was actually looking for was a big set of gel pens that was cheap and since I had the credit I was like okay let me just see and I got this set and actually comes with a backup of every single color so you basically get like two times you can just replace them um, so it comes with some very bright gel pens you also have these metallics these are a little bit more pastel and then we've got more pastels back here and I've been using these a lot and they actually write really well and they are more like metallic gel pens too. So these, oh no, excuse me, these are glittery. The ones I first called metallic are glitter and the ones I've been using the metallics are actually scented too, which I don't think it said that or if it did, I totally missed it. So this set was a pretty decent buy. I think for the price I got 
everything that I wanted out of it and every one of them writes pretty good. The only thing like the pastel ones don't show up that well but do you guys remember the black paper? Did you have that? I used to get the black paper with like the milky gel pens. Oh my god it was my favorite thing. <laughs> really really cute. I mean I couldn't pass it up. This was actually a pretty good buy. I can't complain about this at all. Oh this was like a t-shirt dress. Now this I got in an XXL. This fits more like a medium. Like in US sizes, medium, large, maybe, but it's it's just okay. It's one of those like t-shirt dresses, little cap sleeve, and it's got ruching. I used to have a few of these and what I thought was like high fashion was this with some leggings and boots. And for some reason I thought it was the cutest thing ever, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it was like the ruching along the hip area, you know, so it was kind of short. So I always wore leggings with them, but you can wear it as a dress. But this was kind of a e. Eh, um, it's not that nice. It's got a raw hem at the bottom. It's it's cute, but it doesn't really fit me. So it is what it is. These little pencil pouches were actually pretty freaking cute. Um, so they're kind of flat because I haven't put anything in them, but there is a regular milk. It's got this little panda guy on it. This one is banana milk. Again, super cute. And when you fold these out, um, they do like fold out into like a little carton and they're so cute. Folds out like a little milk carton. And then this one's probably my favorite. This one is the strawberry milk. How adorable. Again, details. They're cheap. This is nothing like insane. But if you have a daughter or you just like cutesy stuff, like, I don't know. I think, I think they're adorable. They were a pretty good find. And these were like two bucks a piece. Nothing expensive at all. Okay, I wound up with two uh shrewd farm shirts i don't know how i did that but this one is a pink it's an extra large and it fits it's just a little bit fitted so i would say it's pretty true to size in this one and it's pink and it says shrewd farms and this is pretty decent quality it is not a like 100 percent cotton feel of t-shirt it's got a little like you can tell it's definitely a blend of something let me see if it has a tag ah polyester <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, I don't I don't know my fabrics clearly, but I knew it wasn't cotton, you know what I mean? But it still feels pretty soft. Like this is a decent alternative. It's not too slick feeling, you know, but I think it's really cute just for something simple. Just know that it's it's cheap, but it's it's cute. I really love this one. It says Scranton, Pennsylvania Shroot Farms. I don't see a tag in this one that actually says the material. It feels like a little less polyester feeling than that one but clearly I'm not an expert so let me not lie to you guys but it feels maybe more like a blend for real while the other one was more polyester but it's got the black writing on the gray and I think it is super cute this is an XXL and it fits a little bit looser than the other one but there's not a big size difference so I mean if you want something to not be tight I would definitely size up as much as you can a couple sizes from what you normally wear now I got one more shirt and this one's like okay I love the show Twin Peaks so if you've never seen the show Twin Peaks you're probably like what the hell is she talking about but I like this one a lot I just wish the material was different this material is very soft but it's just a strange material to be a t-shirt like even weirder than the polyester so it has a tag but it doesn't say it just says extra large is the size machine wash do not tumble dry I feel like this is something that's like really gonna shrink up if you dry it but this is from Twin Peaks and it says have you seen this man and it's Bob so if you've seen the show, you know what that is. And I, I like simultaneously, I love the shirt, but I know the, like the moment if it goes in the dryer, it's probably going to be like, and not fit me anymore. I have one more Twin Peaks item too. This is maybe my favorite item that I got and it's just something small, but this is from the show. It's the room key for the hotel. The Great Northern has room 315 and a clean place reasonably priced so if you know the show you know the reference but i'm in love with this this is the cutest thing if you have a twin peaks fan that you would like to buy a small gift for this is amazing it's just plastic and it's you know it's not crazy expensive but it's so special and unique and I've not seen this before. And I mean, granted, you could probably get it elsewhere, but I have just not seen it anywhere else. I 
I'm in love with this. This is my favorite. I got a couple more small things. So this bookmark, <laughs> this is like Loch Ness in a bookmark. So it's 3D, but it's really flat on the bottom. So you just put it in your book and you let this part stick out of the book. <laughs> so this is what it would look like on your book. Y'all just ignore. This is, talk this is my taco, but look how cute that is. Oh my God. The little Loch Ness sticking out of there. I'm definitely sticking in this in every book that I read from now on. And this this pair of earrings now, if you obviously if you have sensitive ears, I would probably steer clear because I don't know what metal these are, but I do not have sensitive ears, so I'm going to show you. But it's like a little star, it's like stars at the top and then also dangly stars. And I guess you would put All right, I'm a bloody mess today. My camera stopped recording because my card was full and when I got back over here, oh, it's in the other ear, I swear to God. I was like, oh my God, my earring's gone. Okay, y'all just forgive me. It's just, you know, this is why I'm taking a break after <laughs> Christmas because I need to regain my mental capacity. All right, so that's what it looks like. It's actually pretty cute. It is obviously just some costume jewelry, but it's pretty cute. So that's what it looks like. You got little stars in the front and then dangly stars. Okay, so there's our dangly stars. I also have this, so this is a coffee mug. I totally forgot that I got a coffee mug, so please don't judge me, but I just had to get it. And I wonder, I don't know if Zach remembers this, but I'm thinking about wrapping it up for Christmas because I was kind of thinking he might like it, but it's got Yoda on it and it says coffee I need or kill you I will. Although he would probably say that this is more me because I'm a grump in the morning and he's like, I'll be like, why didn't you get me up earlier? And he's like, have you ever woken a bear? Like, all right, these two things are actually the same. And I mean, if you don't like cutesy tootsy stuff, you might not love these for yourself, but you might like them for a female in your life. So these are little heart purses and it's got a long chain on it and it's a furry heart. I got it in the neutral shades because I thought, you know, it's furry heart. It's kind of, you know, young, but the neutral colors kind of class it up a little bit. I think that it's cute. Like, I don't mind. I like quirky accessories and stuff like that. And it's got a little bit of space. Let me see if my new phone will even fit in here. Barely. Okay, my phone will barely fit in there, but I do have the Plus X Pro whatever it is. So <laughs> it's pretty big, but it's perfect for like a crossbody with just your cards, chapstick, hand sanitizer, that type of stuff. So I got it in this furry tan. If you don't like it, I totally get it. And then I got it in the ivory shade as well. Same thing though. I love the idea of wearing this as a crossbody. So these are my little bags that I got. I feel like you get what you pay for for this. The quality is not amazing, but it's really not bad, especially if you have like a daughter or niece or anything that you would like to get like a girl. I think these are really cute. We've got one more item. <laughs> This, I've always wanted a robe like this with like the feathers on it. And this is pretty cheap. I'm not gonna lie, like to take a photo in, maybe I'm gonna put it on. So it's a very sheer robe with the feathers, feathers along the bottom. I mean, if you're looking for something like this, I maybe wouldn't get it from Wish unless it's just for like a silly joke or a picture or something. It's like tied with some string at the bottom and I'm like, oh my God, they actually sent this out to somebody. So yeah, this, this would be a pass for me. It's junk, I'm just gonna say. That one's junk. So anyway, I found a few good things. I'm definitely most excited for my key ring and my gel pens and I'm pretty much set. So that's everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing you know, my wish goodies and seeing what I got and if it was good or not. But I definitely found a few gems, so I'm not mad at it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 22. Christmas is in three days. Wow. So anyway, I hope you guys are going to have an amazing holiday if you celebrate. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.